Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to transfer your documents, pictures, music, videos etc from Windows 7 across to Ubuntu. So this is assuming you've dual booted, not done anything fancy in the installer, because if you made Ubuntu NTFS you could do this from Windows, but because Windows by default can't see Ubuntu on the external four drives, you have to do it from here. So you open up the home folder and you want to find your Windows drive. So Okay, it's easy on this one because I've named it as such, but otherwise it probably be named by a size and file system. So X amount of gigabytes and file system. So go in there, follow documents and settings, your username, and you can retrieve things from you know, music, pictures, videos. So I could just copy the folder and paste it across here. So use the middle mouse button there, opens up a new opens up a new tab and paste it in there. Although well, I've already got that folder. So. And you could also transfer data the other way around as well. So take something out of Ubuntu and copy it across. So there's a video I've done on cheese. In fact Windows is not going to be able to review that one is it? Um, let's take let's just take that one at random anyway. So I'll copy it and back into Windows, into the videos folder, right click and paste. There you go, it's transferring that video across. So when I boot back into Windows, I'll have a video there. Okay, uh, I suppose that's a bit messy really. So you could, could set up an automated method with lucky backup, set up like a synchronize or something using this. I've already done a video on lucky backup, so you know, check that out. If, that's one option. Now, another method you could do, and this is a bit of a complex one, but when you first install Ubuntu, if you set up your drives in this format, and you want to check out my video on sort of manual partitioning in Ubuntu, and just go across to Firefox, how to use the partition editor in the Ubuntu installer, I'll leave a link in the description below for that one. So what you want to end up with is your Windows C drive, being as SDA1 possible, unless you've got a backup before it, in which case it'd be an SDA2. Anyway, end up with that as NTFS formatted. Another drive next to it, another primary drive next to it, Ubuntu, so that's just a root drive, so it's just a forward slash, meaning root. The ext4 formatted. Then in this partition, this is an extended partition, so create a new drive, NTFS formatted, in the Ubuntu installer, mount that as slash home, and then you've also got the Linux swap at the end of it. Now, that only needs to be a small size there for Linux swap. When you go into Windows, one of the library folders that you've got in Windows 7, if you set those to go to a different drive path, send them directly across to your home folder in Ubuntu, because <laughs> you'll see that name does that, be your username and It'd be your username and these folders here. They would be then linked. Not quite sure. It's complicated. Doable probably would work quite nicely. Don't know if anything would get corrupted. Shouldn't do. But yeah, that's a theory. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.